Hello, Alfredo Azula with the Policy Association for an Open Society here again in the second part of this three-part series on data visualization for NGOs. In this segment, we'll be looking at some examples of some data visualizations that do what they are supposed to do in a very effective manner. Data visualizations come in a wide variety of types, and we will look at some that illustrate the principles behind these types of visualizations. First up is one that shows how visuals can be used in making quantitative comparisons. This visualization is about the animals that we as a species choose to eat. As you can see, chickens are our number one choice by a huge margin that this visualization shows in a very immediate way. That's 52 billion chickens, by the way. Our next visualization shows how maps can also be used to make quantitative comparisons. In this case, the designers drew an imaginary map that showed how popular social media tools were in comparison to each other by making the more popular services larger countries and less popular ones smaller countries. Let's move on to some visualizations that were specifically created for advocacy campaigns. Our first one comes from Greenpeace and it shows how a dramatic image can immediately not only share information but can engage the viewers emotions. These images, which show the contents of a seabird that starved to death full of trash, is quite powerful in its minimalist approach. It is in fact backed by numerical data. In this case, the albatross was found with exactly 222 pieces of garbage in its stomach that could not be digested or otherwise expelled, rendering it too full to eat anything. While death can be used to draw attention to the problem of humans polluting the oceans, there are ways to illustrate the same issue in a more lighthearted way that also can be successful in engaging viewers. The government of Catalonia commissioned this piece on oceanic trash called The Most Dangerous Species in the Mediterranean. Here, the designers came up with the idea of using the most common forms of trash we humans discard in the sea to create models of the very sea creatures threatened by the phenomenon. Each creature is used to explain where each sort of garbage originates, what its negative impact on the sea life is, and how long it takes to break down in nature. Finally, let's take a look at how one NGO uses video in its advocacy campaigns. This Amnesty International video manages to dispense a very large amount of data, but the viewer never feels overwhelmed by the numbers that appear throughout it. It's also a very emotional video, with carefully chosen music and a hopeful message despite the rather grim topic. 
I have included in the recommendations listed as part of this course links to these visualizations and other campaigns and websites that are useful as inspirations when you are working on your projects. In the next video of this three-part series, I will go through the process by which a data visualization campaign is conceived and created by going through the step-by-step -step process that I've followed when creating such a campaign for the Policy Association for an Open Society. Thank you for watching and see you then.